and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson. Chances are, if you're already an adult like me, you have a darps, a job. On most days, I love my job, but sometimes it can be quite soul-sucking. So when it feels like you're drowning in a sea of data and you just can't find the words to express your boredom, fear not, my friends. For today, I'm gonna teach you all the Latvian expressions to describe the eye-watering, spirit-crushing boredom. Let's go! Let's start with Boring! While in English the concept is derived from boring a hole in some material like wood, in Latvian when we talk about boredom we actually talk about time that is long. Garš, long, and likes, time, make karlaicīgi. Boring! Man ir tik Karlaicīgi! I am so bored! Or if it gets real bad, es varētu nomirt no garlaicības. I could just die out of boredom. Well, don't die. You can always amuse yourself by learning Latvian. Did you know that we have over 20 funny expressions that literally mean to die? Check it out in an upcoming video that will literally be to die for. But back to expressions for when you're suffocating from boredom. It's kaitinoši, annoying, and nogurdinoši, tiring. When you have to do vienu un to a pašu, the same thing day in, day out. So when your boss gives you an apnicīk, tedious task that is neinteresanti, uninteresting, it's hard to stay motivated. When work becomes monotones, monotonous, and truls, dull, it's easy to fall into a routine. A routine that you just can't escape from until you start feeling like vis viens. You just stop caring because it's all one and the same. And then, a deeply desperate Latvian might start to do things slower and slower until they are lanska sene, slow as a mushroom, or lanska dilplaksnis, slow as a biplane, both of which Latvians do not esteem to be very efficient and exciting. Until the Latvian is so Ispumpeyes, tired but literally pumped out like an air mattress, that he decides to atmesta ruoku, literally throw with his hand, but actually to abandon his job and no snaustis. Take a nap. But work is not the only boring place, my friends. If, like me, you have childhood memories of being abandoned on a lonely planet called Lauki, the countryside. You know that nothing is worse than when nav ko darīt. There's nothing to do. In the world of džūkste, with no cell reception and one channel on TV, just like the little bug that swims in the sea and does not sink in the song Mas kukai nits pa jūru peldu negrims dibana. I could istiepties un sarauties. I could stretch and shrink and the bug still would not sink and I still had nothing to do other than kūkot to kūkū which is how Latvians pass the time when there's nothing to do until they iskūkot prātu until they kūkū their mind out of their head. And actually it happens more often than you imagine. Kas tu prātu iskūkojis? Have you out cuckooed your mind? Is a very common thing Latvians say to each other whenever they are faced with behavior they don't like or are not familiar with. So when my vien mulas dienas, my uniform days, consisted of English lessons and picking Colorado bugs off my grandmother's potato field, I wanted to easily no adas, to crawl out of my skin, which is a thing my family used to say to designate being super bored or making a very big effort. Easily no adas. But a more common phrase that you can say to say that you have just had enough 
is man tas viss jau līdz kaklam. I've had it up to the neck of everything. Or you can use some stylish variations like līdz brošai. I've had it up to the brooch. Or līdz ūkai. I've had it up to the uvula, which is a small conical projection in the middle of the dorsal margin of the soft palate. Lidzukai. All of these mean that you've really, really had enough of something. Unless that something is food, in which case you would say lidzatsim. Asmu piedies lidzatsim. I am full all the way up to my eyes. And you can combine the two, for example, by saying to your grandma to stop force feeding you kotletes. You can say, Yo lids kaklam tās kotletes. Es jau tā esmu pieadusies līdz atcīm. I've had it up to the neck with your kotletes, grandma. No more. Which, of course, is a strictly metaphorical situation because nobody would ever say no to more of grandma's kotletes. Am I right or am I right? Back to the office, when you comb your way through a spreadsheet of some kind, a Latvian would say that you burties cauri excelim, you are magicking. You are making your way slowly through the Excel by using continuous and complicated magic. Obviously, such tasks can make you feel like you're trapped in a windowless dungeon. But for Latvians, the most acute boredom is actually represented by a lonely mountain top. That play yesterday. Ach, tas bija garlaicības kongals. It was the summit of boredom. When you godlike what is, are starting to get bored or even more godlike what is, are starting to slowly die from boredom, you might even find yourself reaching for some Russian-inspired Latvian slang like besigi, from the Russian bisit, which means to annoy and to make angry. Now, some Latvians have adopted this word, some consider it a barbarism and steer clear of it, like the Latvian autocorrect, who, whenever you try to use this word, will try to tell you that you feel bešīgi, beige, beige, instead. But while in Russian bešini means crazy or with rabies, Latvians have done what they do best and created a bunch of words from this barbarism. For example, if you have a besis, it means that you are slightly depressed. But if you besi this, that you're really enraged and annoyed and that you're complaining about it to everybody. But if you are izbesits, everybody should beware because you are so annoyed or bored or just over it today that if anybody tries to come talk to you, it might just be the last thing they ever do. So if we're bogged down in bezgalīgi, endless tasks that seem to have ne gala, ne malas, no end in sight, and then your boss adds just one more thing for you to do. In English it might be the straw that broke the camel's back, but for Latvians who are closer to the sea and or beer, it could be the pēdējā pilīte, the last drop. In such a situation, you might just have to evoke the Latvian emergency evilness and uzkraut darbu kādam citam to dump all your work on someone else, to share the burden while you go have some me time in the lovely weather or aizliet acis. Fill over water your eyes with some tasty and alcoholically fortified brew. Kas nu kuram tu vāks? Whatever is closer to your soul. Un nu vis! Thank you for watching this irregular Latvian lesson on boredom. I hope that now, if you find yourself being very bored by a story that you have already heard a couple of hundred times and your partner asks you, are you bored by my story? You'll know to say 
Protams, ka nē, tas ir tik interesanti. Of course not. This is very interesting. I'm completely loving this story again. Patreons, thank you as always for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. That being said, I will see you soon, maybe. Bye!